Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org here with SiliconANGLE TV's live continuous coverage, wall-to-wall -wall coverage from EMC World 2012 in Las Vegas. Uh, joining me is David Floyer, CTO of Wikibon, uh, and uh, we're going to do a segment diving in with one of the IT practitioners here at the show. Uh, always love to have uh, the, the people with their hands on the equipment being able to share their experiences and, and give advice to their peers as to what's going on. And, and joining us for this segment is David Gutschow from Rosetta Stone. He's a storage engineer. David, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So uh, first, could you tell us a little bit about uh, you know, what, what is your role at Rosetta Stone and uh, you know, a little bit about your, uh, your IT environment? Sure. Uh, I'm the storage engineer and backup administrator for Rosetta Stone. Um, in charge of our global storage environment. Uh, includes file shares, block storage, um, all of our backup equipment. We're in the process of building out a whole bl a global backup environment. Um, so currently we've got multiple VM, uh, excuse me, EMC arrays in our environment. We've got some CX4 960s, the NS960, the new VNX5700, and just kind of building out as we go. Okay, so so, so uh, virtualization is, is a, a pretty sizable part of your environment? Yes, it is. C could you give us a little bit of uh, a, an idea of the scale, how, what's the size of your VM farm and, and the compute that goes with it? Certainly, we, our VM farm is based off of the uh, Cisco UCS chassis, um, and we're sitting right now at about five to 600 VMs, okay. um, and we're about 75% virtualized at this point. Great, and how, how long have you been on this journey to virtualization? The last, Three years. Okay. So it's taken us a while. When, it's, yeah. when I started there, it was a very small environment, and we weren't sure how we were going to go. And as it became more and more important to us, and and the ease of use and the ability to do the things we could do with it, it has just grown and grown and grown. So it's been very successful for us. So uh, I know Rosetta Stone because my son is using uh, Rosetta Stone to learn Korean. Yes, sir. Uh, well. That's what he's meant to be doing, but uh, you know he's he's 15. Right. So uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of pictures, a lot of video, a lot of uh, files, and that you're responsible for all of those internationally. Is that right? Yes, sir. And, um, and, and all the other stuff as well. Yes. Uh, the uh, the product itself is a very is meant to be very dynamic and immersive. So we in doing that, what we the way it works is you you're shown a lot of pictures and a lot of sound bites and and things like that as you go along and it helps you learn the language the way you learn your original language. Um, we all, when we're all babies, we all learn by hearing what's going on around us and seeing the way things work and our product is designed to, to imitate that function. And so we've got hundreds of, hundreds of millions of files of images and sound clips and things like that that are all stored on our file shares and on our storage and it's just it's a large amount of data to keep track of and, and, to, and protect. Right. And Absolutely. EMC has helped us, yeah. us to uh, accomplish that. Yeah. Oh, great. So, um, one of the things I was interested in is that I think you've got a, a VCE. Could you, could you sort of tell the story about uh, how, you, how that came about? It's a slightly unusual one. Sure. Um, we were one, when the V block was first announced, we were, kind of, we were in the process of buying a new uh, CX4960 array and also building out our UCS farm. And at the time, we weren't sure exactly how the V, the v block was going to work out for people and how, and how it looked. So we actually purchased all the parts ourselves, the, the CX4960, the Nexus networking gear, and the UCS gear, and kind of put it all together for ourselves and build out with the help of the vendors. And along the way, they allowed us to go back and be recertified as a v block. So we've got the v block certification for our setup even though we weren't necessarily bought as a V-Block. Um, and it's the VCE group has been, a, has been a godsend a lot of times because we can make one phone call, go to one web page, and everybody's engaged if there's a problem and they can help solve it. So, it's been so very that's a single skew, single, uh, skew yes. single point of contact yes, that sir. really works for you, does it? Yes, it does. And it's, and it's what, what, what sort of saving does that for you as an individual or for the group? Uh, does that, is, is that impact on your people cost or? On your time, it you definitely it cuts down the amount of time I have to spend making multiple calls to support, or and, or monitoring multiple ticket queues for different companies, because there's one ticket, one number. I can go in, I can get everything set up, and on the back end, behind the scenes, they're making the calls and making the contacts with the, with the different engineers with with.